everyone, how are you today? So this video is a question that I have had for a long time. I have always bought and recommended people to buy a quarter of a yard of fabric or a quarter of a meter of fabric when starting cloth pads because if you're buying fabric off of the bolt, you wouldn't be able to get a fat quarter, which would be a little bit more preferable because you would have more length this way. So you would be able to accommodate longer pads without having to sacrifice the direction of your pattern. However, when you're buying off of a bolt of fabric, a quarter of a yard, or buying inches of a yard, is something that's a little more feasible. You would be able to have a little bit of fabric that you can use, but you wouldn't have a ton of fabric, especially if you're someone who doesn't want 15 of the same pattern on your pads. Now, one thing to bear in mind is that if you use a tessellation pattern, you would be able to get far more pads out of your fabric than you would with a typical pattern that is not a tessellation pattern. A tessellation pattern, such as the one offered by Versadile, is a type of pattern where the pad shapes all line up and interlock together so that you can get the maximum amount of pads out of your fabric without having to waste very much. If being economic and using as much of your fabric as you possibly can is a concern of yours, then I would definitely suggest a tessellation pattern or patterns that have straight edges as straight edged pads would take up less room as a flared pattern would. So you would be able to bump one pattern up right against the other one and cut out the maximum amount of pads out of your fabric. Whereas with a curved pattern or a larger pattern, you wouldn't be able to get within the nooks and crannies if that makes any sense. So what we are going to be doing today is I'm going to be tracing out patterns on this fabric. This is a quarter of a yard of knit that I got from Joann's. We are going to be drawing out as many patterns as we can and see how many patterns we can get out of here. As a note, the patterns that I am going to be using, the lengths that I am going to be using are all pads that I need and pads that accommodate me. However, if you are someone who does not want or need longer pads or wider pads, then you could get more out of a quarter of a yard of fabric than I will because your patterns won't need as much fabric. However, my goal today is to get at least one overnight pad out of here and as many day pads as I can. So the amount of pads that you would be able to get out of a quarter of a yard of fabric may vary depending on what patterns that you use. The patterns I'm going to be using today is going to be this 10 inch Amy Nix pad, this 11 inch Sun Glow pattern by Kaituna Creations, this 12 inch Versadile Monarch pattern, this all fluffed up 12 inch pattern, as well as the 16 inch version of that pattern, and my 18 inch Monstrous pattern by Dreamline Design. I may not be able to get one of all of these patterns out of this fabric. We're just going to see what we can accomplish. These are what I aim to use. And yes, I realize that this pattern is a little eaten up. My cat's got it. So I am going to start with this 10 inch Amy Nix pattern. I am going to angle my patterns. I'm not sure exactly how well you're going to be able to see these clear patterns. But by angling my pattern like this, instead of doing it straight up and down, I'll be able to minimize my fabric waste 
because I will only be wasting this little bit here instead of wasting all of this at the top. can see the outline a little better than you could the clear pattern as I was saying and I apologize if you can see my foot over here instead of wasting all of this that we would have at the top I'm only going to be wasting this amount here and perhaps a little bit here depending on how I'm able to butt the next pattern up against it the patterns that I'm using are so on the line patterns which means that I need to allow for a seam allowance around my pads. So I am not going to be able to put, for instance, I wouldn't be able to just put one right up against it and sew. I wouldn't have any seam allowance to sew with. So I have to leave a little bit of room between my patterns. you would like to be a little bit more precise with it then you can always use your hem gauge or your sewing gauge to mark around the seam allowance I'm not too concerned about this here because these are both corners so they're gonna be clipped off anyways I don't need a ton of room right here so I'm not necessarily the most concerned about that With this one, I like this cut a little bit better than I would have liked this cut, so I'm going to trace this one out here. As a note, larger scraps like this you can use for interlabial pads or cup spots. So they don't necessarily have to go to waste. You can always just cut out whatever you need out of this and then you would have very little left over. So you can always repurpose your little scraps like this in those other ways. This larger pad is a little bit harder for me to fit in frame so I do apologize. <laughs> And then last but not least, we are on this last little piece. If you're a little bit more put together than I am, then it probably would be beneficial if you were to lay out the length of your fabric, place your patterns down with some pattern weights, and then you can face your patterns in different directions to see how fitting them together might save fabric. However, I also like for my, my prints to look nice on my pads, so that is kind of how I factored in how I wanted to trace out my patterns. If you're using a solid color or you don't care about your fabric on your pads then that wouldn't necessarily be a concern for you and you could just lay them out however if it's something that you guys are interested in 
I would like to see exactly how much stuff I can get out of this. Um, so for instance, out of the scraps here, maybe some interlabial pads, some cup spots. I did have some larger pieces here that maybe I could do a couple of exposed cores with. So if that's something that you're interested in, let me know and I would love to see exactly how much stuff we can get out of this without wasting it. Again, it would vary from person to person. I, again, was not very careful about how I laid them out. My concern was a little bit more with placement than with using up the fabric to the best of my abilities. If that is something that you would like to see, definitely let me know in the comments down below and I would love to film that video for you. So all in all, out of this quarter yard of fabric, I got one of the Kaituna Creation Sun Glow patterns. I got one of the Dreamline Design Monstrous pattern. This one is a little large and hard to fit in frame, but it's on there. I got one of the All Fluffed Up one of the Versatile Monarch, and one of the Amy Nix. So in total, I was able to get five pads out of this. One of them was that really long 18 inch overnight. In that space that the 18 inch overnight was in, I could have easily gotten at least two more pads, if not three or four, depending on how I rotated them and what direction I had them facing. So that is that is something that you would take into consideration with you cutting yours. So that is it. That is this video done. I am really excited to start cutting these out and sewing them. Again, if you want a follow-up video and you would like to see the pads when they're done and how much stuff I'm able to get out of the scraps, let me know. I would be more than happy to film that for you. That sounds like a really fun video. If you're new here, welcome. Hit the subscribe button down below. I would love to have you. While you're down there, if you would hit the like button, that helps YouTube to suggest this video to someone who might need it. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Let me know what patterns you would have used. If you've done this before, how many pads did you get out of it? What did you use your scraps for? Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today. I definitely appreciate it. And you enjoy the rest of your day, okay?